Welcome to Dungeon of the Endless. We are going to be playing a new game today. This is essentially a top down kind of shooter, but it's a roguelike, but it's 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 a fun game. It's really hard to explain. It's hard to put a thumb down on this, but we're going to be playing it today. It's been a while since I've I've played a let's play on my channel, but essentially what the story is is you're in a spaceship, you get launched out of an escape pod. The escape pod falls into the planet, but it, the escape pod is like 12 floors long, and it gets all the way buried into the ground. So, you have to climb all the way up. Pretty interesting. I like it a lot. We're going to play on too easy, because easy is actually not that easy. It's actually, it can get pretty difficult. Now, do we have any other ships? I don't think we do. So we're just going to be playing with the escape pod, we're going to random hero it up, because that is preferably what I like to do. I like to random hero. Alright, let's start. Boom, that crashed right there. So I'll explain the game as we get into it. Once it loads up, I'll explain exactly what's what you do in the game. So as you can see, I'm in this one room. I can zoom out and to look at the, the bigger map area. This power core right here is what powers the whole escape pod kind of thing going on. It powers everything. And with that, this one right here, dust I believe it's called, uses to power rooms. And then all the other materials like this is used to build um, machines or uh, defenses. This is used for researching and this is used for food which can be used for upgrading your levels or healing your peeps, your, your your people and your crew. So, who I have is Max O'Kane, which he is a gun user. He's got, he doesn't have any active skills, but he gets more attack power when he's with people. And he also increases the amount of science we get per floor, which is pretty nice. She is also a gun user. I would like to get a melee user to like get some tankiness on that. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but 10% uh, more defense when uh, grouped with others they trust, so with their people. And monsters don't slow down the heroes. That's actually pretty good. I like that. So, first things first, we're going to select all of our people. Which, if I can remember how to do that, would be pretty good. I don't remember. So, we're just going to have to do it one at a time. Why? Okay. Game, please. There we go. All right. I was getting confused here. So as you walk in the rooms, you can find dust, you find other enemies. One of the biggest things you probably want to do early in the game is build as many industrial generators as you can because it allows you to start getting more gear, material, more industrial material to build even more. Now there was a way to select all and now I'm trying to remember that. I'll figure it out eventually. Alright, so let's go to the next area. Come on. Wh what are you doing? You're just gonna... Oh, pausing. Go into here. There you go. So I'm gonna say, you're just gonna let your bro be by yourself. That's not very nice. Industrial generator. I normally do either two or three in the very beginning. It's just the, the better choice to do, in my opinion. In every way. So the, the goal of the game is to find the elevator grab this power core and take it to the elevator to go to the next floor that's the main main mission main goal of the whole game that's kind of how everything works because you want to get out of this escape pod that you're trapped in per se I think I'm gonna go for for two now I can't build another one yet so every time you clear a floor or not a floor a room you get your your bonuses so I get my plus 14 every time I go into a new room, plus 5, plus 6, and it just kind of works like that. You know, you also find little bonuses like that. For example, it gave me a little bit of extra food, which is nice. You can also light up other rooms by pressing down in the middle miles button just to get them there quicker. You don't want anything going to your core because what the monsters will do is they want to go to your core and destroy it so you want to uh, prevent them from being able to do that because that would not be a very good thing 
So I'm going to build another industrial generator. This is going to be our last one. The next one we'll probably build is either a science or a food one. I just wish for the life of me I could remember what button you need to press to select all troops. Ooh, we found a treasure, which is nice. We found a six gun, so I'm going to equip that to... Who does our most damage right now? So he has uh, 23 DPS. And she has 29. So I'm going to give it to her. It's just a better choice. I'd rather increase the DPS with the highest DPS person we already have. Maybe that's not the best decision. I don't know. Luckily, both of these guys have like the same amount of speed. So you'll notice maybe as we get another member that uh, some are much faster and some are much slower. Yeah, we got some people coming in here. So we're going to want to start setting up some of these defenses. I remembered all these hotkeys. Now I don't remember for the life of me. It makes me very agitated, per se. So the dungeon, or the dungeon, the uh, elevator is not that way. So we're going to send both of our dudes in here. We're going to set up some more of these, though. It would be really wise to do that. I don't want to be, you know, sitting behind and have uh, things be able to rush in behind me and take out all of my stuff. That would not be a very good thing. So there's probably not that many things left, so I might not even build a food generator this floor. There's maybe one or two things left, and it's it's just not worth the spend it. I'll get what, like, you know, maybe a couple things out of it. So this is a research area. Let's see if this will be good enough. I think it will be able to kill them all. Good. Alright, that's fine. So this is a re where you use your research. We're going to pop this open, pa not pause the game. We're going to left click it. I mean, right click it. So I can get a food replicator too, which would be nice when I get up to that area. I can get a new modular, which each kill heals up to 100 HP based on the monster kills distributed to the heroes in the room. I think this is really good, so I'm probably I'm going to research that one. That is actually fantastic in my opinion. Like really, really good. Because if we can get that done, okay, more people are coming. We just have to be wary. We have to be looking out. Like right here, these guys are not going to be able to do it in time. Yeah, we're going to need more of these because they are starting to get through. I don't have enough uh, dust to power all the rooms. When a room is powered, you uh, no monsters are able to spawn in there. Which is nice, but I don't have that luxury right now. So there's no way we're going to be able to do that. Alright, there's nothing in here. Really? So maybe we do want to light up... Oh, we don't have enough power to do that. I would like to light up this area, but I don't think that's going to happen. And we might want to speed up getting through this floor, because it's getting pretty close to the time where... Things are going to start coming. So we found the elevator. That's that's the good part. We got our binary transfographer, whatever. You know what I'm saying. We got our 100 HP distributed when enemies are killed. So, what we need to do now is we need to grab this and take it all the way into here. Our fastest person. Who's our fastest person? So we have one with 34 speed. And one with 32. So we want the dude to have the speed to take it. So she's, I'm going to have her sit in here. It's the bigger room. You know, I'm just going to have her sit in the main room. And I'm going to have to have this dude run all the way across. Which, you know, would be the better choice. The better choice would probably be to power off this room. Power on this one. And, yeah, that's probably the best choice. Oh, I haven't even cleared this whole floor yet. Never mind. Let's... Let's not do that. Let's go here. Because there's one more room. So there could be a merchant in here, which is what we really want. And more power, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Yeah, that should be no problem. I'm not worrying about things. Okay, maybe I am worrying about things. We want to get down to here, actually. There's a lot of treasure, sure, but these guys are getting pretty close. There we go. All right. 
They're destroying all of our stuff, which is not good. I'm going to be setting up some defense in here now. Okay, so we have to have one of these things built in here to restore HP. Alright, I get it. Come on. Don't let them through. No. Alright. Thankfully, we got a buttload of dust from that. Which is one of the good things about getting dust, or uh, about fighting enemies, is it gives you even more dust. You know, honestly, both of you don't need to be there. So I'm going to send you over here. I'm going to have him grab it and then run to go get the power supply. And then we're going to run on out of here. Where did he go? Okay, go in there. Unlock that. Kitchen gloves. Alright, so he needs to go here. I'm actually going to give him the kitchen gloves because it's probably going to be the best thing for him. Attack power. Yeah, it's good. I probably should have gave it to her, but, you know, oh well. So, we're going to pick this up. It's going to make everything start coming towards him. And he's going to be really slow. Thankfully, I have enough defenses for a while that it shouldn't be too big of a problem. I can set up a little bit more. But we should be fine. Yeah, they're not even going to be able to make it across to us. So we're going to be able to leave here, no problem. Which is really nice. Both of our heroes are here. The elevator is powered. I think it's time we head on out of here. To the next floor. Yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. You know, it took us 10 minutes. We gained a lot of stuff. We got a decent score. A decent amount of monsters killed. A lot of doors open, so we're going to floor 2. As you can see, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think this is like final boss floor. I'm not exactly sure. I know there's like 12 main floors and there's this top one, which maybe is the way out, maybe is another floor. I don't know. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the new series, the Dungeon of the Endless, it's on Steam for I believe like $10? Maybe 15. I might be uh, wrong about that. It's not that expensive. I'll be having the link in the to the Steam page in my description, as well as everything else, and like my links to my Twitter and all that. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like because I very much appreciate it, and it helps out the series quite a lot. I'll see you guys next time with many more Dungeon of the Endless to come. Floor two, here we come. <laughs>